What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We're live to both late here in the night, and we have the top five rogue decks that you can go to locals and enjoy. They don't have to be defining the meta. They can meld in with the meta. Maybe you could even top a regional with some of these decks, but these are decks you might see tearing up a locals near you. And in the number five position, especially thanks to the new Forbidden and Limited list where we lost Firewall, it's a ABCs. ABCs still have amazing potential, not only with Summoning Buster, who's one of the best cards to perhaps ever been created for contact fusioning or fusion summoning in general, but you still have the resource game provided alongside the ability to link summon and go up certain routes that wouldn't necessarily be offered by the average deck. A, B, and C all offer still the ability to kind of mix in and get your resources back and out, especially after you've activated Buster the first time, and Buster kind of ensures that you're trying not to die in one turn unless it's to something like insanely powerful powerful like conductor tyranno or just getting your field blown out by that average kind of link board or evenly matched may have you even evenly matched can't like you leave your buster and then you still have three monsters it's pretty awesome so i definitely think that you know the advent of the ban list having hip potion gen a good link you have the resource and tools for abc that it's one of our top five contenders in the rogue category here to have fun with go to locals you don't have to necessarily like spend a lot of money on this deck it's somewhat budget compared to a lot of those on our list and i think it's nice that it's been returned to us off the fnl list that we have something that you know three structured decks, a couple of other resources that you don't have to spend too much on and you have something relatively nice going for you but a fan favorite in the number four position not necessarily my favorite but a fan favorite and that's the blue eyes decks now blue eyes have a lot of different ways to be played but one of the stars of the show that i really like is still their synchro monster blue eyes spirit dragon yet yeah, you don't always have to go the rank eight route and blue eyes spirit dragon actually has a cute interaction with the sky strikers in that a you can tag out with it but b also you're able to uh negate some of those graveyard effects like ray so you have dodging effects and cool effects and also i Oh, I, I really don't want to bring this into the conversation, but Chaos Max Dragon kind of has a really big presence against Sky Strikers also, where if you flop this down, hmm, what are Sky Strikers going to do besides continuously have to pump spells into the graveyard in order to try to eventually get bigger than this? I've played this on Dueling Book myself. I've run into Sky Strikers on Raided, and I've beat them because they couldn't out this as I've been able to build and resource my board even more. So you have other variants you can take as a guilty pleasure from me, or maybe it's actually something you enjoy unironically and that's okay i i think this is an awesome deck to take to locals again you don't necessarily have to spend a ton into it although three alternatives a little less budget than three buster dragon per se but i definitely think there's a lot of potential here for blue eyes to have fun there's a lot of ways to troll the meta when it comes to stuff like chaos max dragon here and I see you guys grinding out there with it. You got a little new support. I don't think too many people are running uh, the bingo machine, but some people do choose to. So you have evolving options and rank eights, etc. as time goes on. But in the number three position is a budget deck that's a real contender for me. You don't have to spend a lot, and that's Crusadia. Crusadia has this ability to not only play first, but also second, especially second. But you, you're not stuck playing second. When you can build boards with Naturia Beast using Rescue Cat, which is getting a reprint and dual power, mind you. But you also have the ability to OTK and take care of problems. It's a nice balance to where, yeah, you'd rather go second, and not many other decks in this meta would, so letting them go first can be nice when you're not getting FDK, and maybe that won't happen as much because it's locals, less competitive. But I really feel this this is good. You have field clears that take care of problem U-links, that take care of negations, that take care of stuff like the Thunder Dragons a bit for you, depending on the board they've set up. And uh, I, I feel like your ability to decide what you're playing against, decide what you want to do, I really like it, and the resource game is second to none. Being able to resource your graveyard, resource your deck for spells and monsters, I like where it's gone. 
and it only gets better with the guard dragons coming up so it's a deck that i personally would enjoy having that i would enjoy playing with and i think is a surprise at locals that can take down any deck within the meta and a two out of three in our number two position one that also got more powerful from the ban list but a tad more expensive for those out there on a budget it's cosmos aka chosmos so again similar to the blue eyes chaos max thing with sky strikers your dark destroyer can't be targeted yes it can be destroyed but it can't be targeted by sky strikers and that's kind of what they thrive off spot removal and really trying to take on the problems so what happens is again they have to go into their resource game put all their resources in getting spells in the graveyard kind of minus to get there and you can have disruptions such as slip rider such as ooh, one of the best traps in the game cosmoja one of the only pink cards i would still be repping today and you still have that one e telly for those cheese otks when you draw but overall i think cosmo coming coming back into power here i've seen people try to make builds that can link off but i like the classic cosmo being able to put your big ship on board or try to make a dark planet i think there is potential to to like being able to get your resources out but i i prefer the the kind of older school thought when it comes to cosmos like you're reacting you have a deck that once you really learn the meta you react to things you you put out your problems for them to deal with and then you push them to their limits and, and you kind of take the duel so that's that's where i like cosmos but there's a lot of different ways to play them let me know down in the comment section down below how you enjoy cosmos and if you are still a cosmo player do you take it to locals how's that been going for you and in our number one position talking about you know structured x from the past how about the one of the future with zombies i think balor droach has taken this deck to another freaking level you already have one of the best normal summons and all of Yu-Gi-Oh with you zombie uh it's a tuner so it will only get better as we might see needle fiber in the future but zombies i feel like just have one of the ultimate engines that is underestimated throughout Yu-Gi-Oh and throughout time. You you now have a monster in here that gets negates. Actually, if we look up uh, Sucker here, you also have a card that helps you continue to go up that ladder after using uni, using Unizombie instead of you know Synchro plays or what you had before. You have a card that enables you for draws. So a lot of the time we end up seeing Balor Droach ended up using his link material for Sucker and then coming on back out. But you got to be careful about spell and trap destruction. I feel like more people side spell and trap destruction on the local level than at the uh, regional or YCS level even where they see problems. And so if your zombie world gets popped in the draw phase, uh, you, get, you need a field spell on the field in order to get this back out on the standby phase. You have to be really careful and mindful about your setup. And I guess the I've seen the better zombie players kind of summon this back themselves instead of using its effect. Like, yeah, you would want to be greedy and use that extra material, but there's so many options. That's just the point. There's so many options in how you build your board. There's ways to play through hand traps now with your uh, extra deck extenders and other extenders. And you're not always just stuck with the normal stuff and should you be ash like there's the brilliant fusion builds there's just so many different ways to play zombies and i think out of all the the decks that i've mentioned here it's the least linear you have so many different ways and techs and so i've seen vindred spam players from tubers i've seen different kinds uh up to link spam on its own to actually mixing in the synchros there's so many creative ways to do zombies and that makes me really happy to to see like there's the ceiling on the deck now that has been busted out thanks to the structure deck thanks to banshee thanks to zombie world actually being like way more playable than it once was but what do you guys think should be on this list i know there's a lot of layer of darkness fans out there that maybe you're displeased but this is the top five i'm restricted from being a top 10 so there's many that cubics were actually brought up as well oh yeah you were always summoning your big monster that ignored everything in every single game state and trying to get an infernoids maybe or one that's long forgotten in the past since grass has been man there's so many fun rogue decks out there that it's insane and there's so many different ones that i actually want to hear about from you guys so in the comment section down below let me know what you're playing at locals if it's not meta if it's one of these rogue tier heroes i want to hear about it and what you love about it subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you enjoyed the discussion you don't have to agree 
There could be, every list is subjective. There could be other decks that you enjoy, and I do want to hear about them. And, of course, as always, I'll see ya in the next video, because now I'm SEMO. Right, boys? That's how it works.